Hey everyone, this is Debonair. I am the host of the Debonair Gaming Channel, which is new to your ears but not to the game. I'm currently coming to you from HQ. I hope you are enjoying your 2018. Um, I'm hoping that this thing is recording and <laughs> not wasting my time, right? So, I don't know if all of you guys know, but uh, I have been working on the website for a while now and uh, we got dogs all right so i've been working on the website for a while now i'm on my way to do some more work you know try and get rich this year so you know try and get this money and uh that means work working more work gotta get that sun out your face so um what i'm gonna be bringing to you guys right now is a channel update of course and i also wanted to just to discuss the youtube's new policy a lot of people believe that the youtube policy is going to kill the new content creators is going to uh ultimately you know make the smaller channels uh <laughs> irrelevant you know and uh, truth be told if you were doing this for the ad sense that was a bad idea in the first place dog not a dog okay that was a bad idea in the first place um currently i just checked my adsense account today uh and since i've been putting up videos <laughs> in adsense revenue i've only made uh nine dollars and 95 cents <laughs> that's nothing <laughs> you can't do nothing with that and that's uh that's over the course of a couple of months i think that's uh maybe five months that I've been actively using uh, YouTube and putting up content on there. And that's only off of like maybe 10 videos that are getting a nice amount of views. So I definitely have to work on that. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, it's like, nah, you shouldn't be worrying about that AdSense. What you need to worry about doing is you need to worry about uh, growing your audience and ultimately offering them the product, a product that they'll be willing to pay for. It's just as simple, simple as that. Uh, or a service, once again, that they're willing to pay for. It's just as simple as that. Uh, currently working on some services for my audience. Uh, I'm gonna be hosting it on Fiverr and I'm hoping to be able to feed it to, uh, feed it to my website. Uh, definitely wanna do that. Feed it to my website and then that way you could just get my services from off the website. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe doing the PayPal thing, possibly, I don't know. I'm just skeptical about the organization of the PayPal, like, like how reliable is it going to be? How well is it going to notify me when the clientele wants uh, some work done, you know? Uh, so instead I would just rather use Fiverr or I'm going to be using, uh, or I'm going to be using Maker Support or Patreon, one of those. So I'll see what that's about. And uh, yeah, so if you are a small time creator, one, this is one of those videos that you can comment in the uh, comment section below and let me know. Um, two, post your content below and I'll be more than happy to show it off to others. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there because I'm looking to collaborate with a couple people and I'm looking to create a a network of individuals on the site who continuously put up content so that their um, content can also be populated into the website as well. And uh, that way we could gain more traffic as a collective, you know, working together, uh, especially in one place. The website is Game Money Knowledge, or no, no, Games Money Knowledge. There you go, dot GA. You can go there. Uh, we also have some advertising space available. And like I said, if you're a small time creator, this is something that you should be doing, making you a website with your content on there and the things that you are planning to do and you wanna do. And then seeing, seeing if it's an audience who want that. You know, a lot of people are getting into the gameplay videos mainly because it's easy. You know, I got into the gameplay videos because they were easy. You can play a game, record it, send it up and it's really relatively quick you know but at the same time um 
gameplay can be boring. <laughs> Sometimes people just use it for white noise, you know? So, uh, and on top of that, there are a bunch of games that I want to come out that I know will just never be released if I, d I have not, you know, if, if, if I don't make it, basically. Uh, speaking of which, I got a game idea and development right now, like it's circulating through my brain, circuit, circuit, circulating through my brain, right? And I want to, I think, I'm thinking about using voxels to build it. I don't know. So I have this voxel uh, application on my phone. Um, voxels are like pixels, but you know, three dimensional. And so I have it on my phone. And what I wanted to do, oh, okay. So I have it on my phone and what I wanted to do was I wanted to take and uh, use it to make the characters because I've seen a couple people make it. Um, and, when, and when they made their character, it was, it was looking relatively good. It was looking nice. So I was like, maybe if I do it, it could, it could be hot. I'm also thinking about using it to uh, make like some uh, DBZ characters, see how that looks. So that's on the way. And see, the cool thing about that is that when I do make it, it's going to also, I'm going to also make tutorials for it. So hopefully uh, that'll, that'll get booming. And of course, we're going to use that uh, to put it on the website. So I just noticed that I didn't do my intro. <laughs> or maybe I did. I feel like I did. I feel like I did. If, if I have, you guys got to comment and say, hey, you did the intro. It's good. Um, we're going to have more in a little bit. The train is coming. And I'll see you guys a little bit later.